Stepapolin should be the last episode of the saga. Looking back to all the step-up movies, what do you think are the main ingredients for uh, this su success? I think good characters, great dancing, uh, good love stories, and uh, uh, exciting uh, backdrops are the, the formulas to creating such a successful franchise in the, in the dance industry and in the film industry. Do you think that the dance will be part of your life even now that the saga is over? And how do you feel while you're dancing? Now that I'm a part of the dance world uh, and I catch myself dancing all the time, whether I'm cleaning or cooking or anything, I, I find myself dancing, playing some music. Um, and yeah, I, I think uh, I always have a special place in my heart for dance. I don't think I'll be doing any more dance films, but... Um, Yeah, I, I will continue to dance. Okay, let's play a game. I'm gonna tell you a situation and you have to tell me what kind of dance uh, you will associ associate to it. So, flirting. <laughs> flirting, I would... <laughs> Salsa? Life as a couple. Life as a couple. Oh, uh, contemporary. Night out with friends. Hip hop. Hands of a relationship. What's that? Ends of uh, of a relationship. End of a relation. Oh, uh, contemporary again or ballet. A fight. Crumping. Um, in this movie, you have to deal with uh, disillusion and delusion. And in your real life, how do you deal with this kind of situation? And how do you react after a huge delusion, a refuse, or a failure? Uh, yeah, I, in this movie, Sean becomes a little bit delusional in the fact that he thinks that he still has what it takes um, by himself to create uh, a future in his, his dance career um, when it's the people around him that made him who he was. So uh, there's a balance of having a dream that seems a little bit too far out of reach and then knowing your limits. Uh, Of course, I, I choose to always have that dream and shoot past my limits, but um, I always try to shoot for the stars so I can land on the clouds. And can you give uh, any advice to young people who want to do your job uh, but are scared about a no? Everything comes with a risk, no matter what you do. You might as well do something you love and risk you know, not having anything than something you don't love and risk you know suffering a whole life in something you you are going to be agonized with um so if you want to become an actor or a singer or a dancer try it train uh it's going to be hard it's not going to be easy it's not going to be an overnight success but if you love it enough you can find a way to make it work uh sean versus ryan in what would you like to be similar to the characters of sean And uh, in what do you think Sean should be similar to you? I would love to be similar with Sean um, in the fact, I don't know, there's, so many, there's already so many similarities between me and Sean. Um, I, when I played him in Separate Revolution, all I had to pull from was me as an actor. So I put a lot of me into Sean. Um, we don't have the same faults sometimes, per se. But uh, his determination is something I admire and something I try to strive for. Um, what I don't like is that he pushes people aside for his own goals. Um, and I wouldn't want that trait. So you're an amazing dancer uh, with a natural mm, attitude to it. But you're not a professional dancer. Um, on set, have you ever felt uh, like you weren't good enough? Yeah, you always have doubts, you always have fears because you're dancing with some of the best dancers in the world. And to compare yourself is unfair because they've been training for 20 plus years or, you know, 10 plus years. It's been a long time and you hop into it for a couple weeks and it's not fair to yourself. So what you do is you try to bridge the gap between their skill level and your skill level so that when it reads on screen, there's not this huge gap between you guys. Um, And that's what I try to do. I wasn't so much trying to become better than them or become them. I wanted to become believable enough to where uh, I can hold my own. Thank, Thank you. you.